five types of hospitality business that is specific portion of the commercial space. As we've talked about, commercial space has multiple different avenues. One of those avenues is hospitality. What that business is all about, for more tips like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe. My name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor here with Sutton Group Ottawa. Hit the subscribe so we can get more and more videos like that. So let's talk about it. Hospitality is a type of assets that specifically serves travelers and folks that are coming in and out of cities. And it tend to be a, a range of arenas, Sometimes you're talking about hotels, you're talking about motels, we're talking about places like water parks, we're talking about theme parks. So let's dig in. Number one, budget hotels. So those are, as the name suggests, very budget type hotels. They're very conveniently located around highways and airports, and they serve the in and out traveler that's coming in, looking at something very close, very budget oriented, economical, if you will. Uh, and they tend to have a lot of less uh, sort of amenities. Uh, a perfect example would be something like Motel 6 or something like Riverfront Motel, things like that that are, you know, maybe 20, 30 rooms to serve the public quick in and out and be able to do it on a budget. Number two, that's your extended stay hotels. So what these are, as the name suggests, they're really more of a longer stay. You know, you're in and out of the city maybe for a week and a half to two weeks. Uh, maybe longer, and they tend to have a small little kitchen, bigger space rooms. They allow for a little bit more of comfort and ease and convenience. And they're normally also located in areas that are closer to downtown hub and entertainment centers within the downtown area, just so again, that they allow for that ease of traffic. If you're in the city, you're going to spend a couple of weeks. That's a, a place that you might want to check out. It allows for, you know, again, having that kitchen allows for you to go in and get your groceries and things like that and still operate within a budget on an extended stay. I'm going to add to it. The these also tend to have a little bit more amenities, a gym, uh, possibly a swimming pool, something very simple, but in the same token, still delivers the purpose on a budget. Number three, that's your full service hotel. So these tend to be a little bit more of the resort type. They tend to have a lot more amenities, really full fledged. They might tend to have like a casino, for example, for entertainment. A big example here in the city, you're looking at Casino La Climi or the Hilton out in Gatineau. It gives you that sense of everything is all included. The amenities are there. Uh, you've got a gym, you've got a, a high-class restaurant. It's really more of a full experience for the folks that are staying at an upper class, obviously not on a budget. So if you're of the faint budget, that's not the place for you to stay. Number four, that's your limited services hotels. So these ones tend to be a little bit more upscale. They're a little bit more on the higher budget, if you will, but they tend to serve a very niche of clients. Uh, it's more geared towards the business traveler that's coming in and out of the city. They want to stay probably close to the downtown core. They might want to stay close to the airport. They tend to be in places like the downtown core, the central business district, and they serve, like I said, a very segmented portion of the population that are coming in mostly business travelers. Picture something like the Hampton Inn that's uh, in downtown Ottawa, the Alt Hotel, very specific, as I said, tend to have a lot less amenities, but they still have something like a gym or a restaurant or what have you, but very limited and they serve a very niche of client. And the fifth type, that's your short-term rentals or Airbnbs. As the name suggests, they're just, you know, that could be from an experience as type of a, a stay, or it could be more of a, a one bedroom, it's, it really ranges. It's a wide range of, of an array of stays. Uh, it could be your small little place downtown with a with a with maybe a condo that you're staying in for a couple of nights, uh, or it might be a room on board of somebody's house uh, somewhere in the suburbs of the city. Again, it's geared towards a budget. It gears towards people that are looking at experiencing multiple different types of travel, like the name could have suggested is, you know, it might be a stay or experience, or it might be a stay just for the night that I'm, I'm doing, getting in and out. Very different type of stay, but again, it's portion a big portion of the hospitality type uh, commercial business. For more tips and tricks about real estate, whether it's commercial or residential, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Canada on the Rocks. I'm your host, Fadi Kuder, local realtor here with Sutton Group Ottawa. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and get more and more videos like that so you can learn more about real estate.